Today's episode, how do you do it? Welcome to Stories of My Life. So today, Saturday, Stockholm, Sweden. I'm hang having two days off from the theatre for the start-up of the new musical. So I'm going to celebrate that by, well, I am celebrating that by cleaning my apartment, tidying up. I'm the worst at doing my dishes. I just sort of, it's like I sort of think I have, oh, I've got a mail. Uh, it's like I think I have a butler or something. Or an assistant that sort of do the you do the dishes i can't be bothered anyway i'm making four portions of arugula pesto which is fantastic it's my absolute favorite i prefer that to actual pesto you know the one with bas basil in it because this guy's um this is vegan and it's uh quite economical to make. You just use rocket and sunflower seeds and olive oil and, and uh, lemon. I also made garlic bread in my, um, well, I sort of heated up bread and put some garlic on it in my air fryer and a fatouche salad. I need to check if I got all the ingredients in the fatouche salad because I'm not quite, quite sure. I know. Satar and, no, Zumak, not Satar, Zumak and uh, mint and salad and tomatoes and stuff like that. But I will be checking out. I'll show you my lovely lunch later on. A brunch? Brunch lunch. Oh, by the way, regarding my for two salad, I, I forgot the most important, well, mint and lemon and fried pita bread, because that's the thing. Yeah, I think my pasta's done. There goes the pasta. So you get the here goes some of the reserve pasta water to make it easier and more runny when I add the rocket. No, the arugula pesto, damn it. Ta-da! Don't it look nice? Since the weather is just lovely, I think I'll have my uh, brunch lunch on the balcony. So far, I had a lovely day. I've been lying out on the balcony, editing things, lapping up the sun, if that's the word. Well, sun is a word. Anyway, now, my friend Magnus is, uh, he's, he's an artiste, and he's working on a show in another, in another city called Malmö, in a musical called, everybody's talking about Jamie, and he is one of the drag queens there. And we just, usually we sort of, we FaceTime every other night or evening. But since we had a lot of do at the theatre, we haven't been talking for a couple of days. And yesterday he was, he was, he saw Mamma Mia the musical. And that's where we met when it was running here in Sweden. Now there's a sort of touring company in Malmö. So he went to that. Anyway, short story, too late. I need to buy pineapple juice and salt. I'm going to exchange some empty soda cans as well, whatever you... Oh. Hmm. Polka taste. So I wonder what's the correct thing, the correct English word or phrase for taking your soda bottles and doing this and then getting money for it. I don't think it's recycled, but because recycle you just sort of... That would be if I donated it, I guess. So I got about five dollars back. So, salt. This is their own brand, and this is a sort of another brand. And they cost as much, exactly the same amount. This is one kilo, this is like 600 grams. Usually, this sort of their own brand should be cheaper, right? <laughs> so, anyway, I always bulk up on, uh, or whatever you say salt because you always need it and it never grows old. Now, if I was Jews, where would I be? Tonight I will be making something called, oh, Staten Island Ferry, I think. Ferry, like the boat, not fairy, like me if I lived in Staten Island. One of the many perks with having today and tomorrow off is that I have time to food prep, among other 
things. So now I'm food prepping. I am making sesame, sesame tofu with rice. Um, doesn't sound exciting? Might be really good. There's a sort of a tangy sauce to it. So join me. Oh no, wait, let's do this right. And welcome to What's Cooking Good Looking, where I, a former photo model and a spokesperson for Meals on Wheels, called Richard Dryheave, will teach you how to make vegan food taste delicious. Today we are making sesame tofu with rice. Sounds boring, you said? Well, let's see. Well, obviously you cook some rice, four portions to be precise. I cook a little bit more because that's what I took. Um, I'm, try I'm trying not to, I'm, I'm finishing what I've got of rice because I'm gonna try oats and stuff instead because I read somewhere that it's really not good for the environment to sort of ship all that rice to where I live. So, and well, then we have tofu, but this is tofu made in Sweden. Yes, I know, sounds weird, but it is. So. About 400 grams of tofu, you cube them into nice bite-sized chunks. And then in a rather big sippy locky baggy, I think that's the correct term if you're Finnish, you put one and a half deciliters of cornstarch. Yeah, things are gonna get started. And I totally forgot to tell you in that charming way that I forget to tell you stuff, that this tofu is frozen and then thawed. I think that's the best way to cook tofu because then it sort of, it changes texture and turns into sort of, well, meaty. It's sort of, otherwise it sort of does, turns crumbly. This, this way, it sticks together. It turns like sort of almost rubbery, almost halloumi-like. Anyway, you've got your bag with cornstarch and now you add your cubes of tofu to the bag of corn starch. Then you close the bag and then in that charming way that Elvis used to do things, you shake, you rattle and you roll. Yeah, this is going great. And the recipe says to really let it rest so that it really soaks up all the corn starch. So let's, let, let's start making the sauce instead. So in a great nice bowl, this one is from Herganes, which is a Swedish brand. I just love these. Uh, anyway, in this, you put three tablespoons of sesame oil. Don't believe me, you'll think it's strange when I tell you that that was what was left in the bottle. Exactly three tablespoons. That was all that I needed. I must remember to buy more sesame oil when I'm cooking again. I'll think that I have it, but I haven't got it. I need to buy it because then I can use it. Uh, don't cry for me. So, I, I chose a great bowl, didn't I? Black, and then I'm gonna put black stuff in it. So like two tablespoons of Japanese soy sauce. Uh, we will also be adding three tablespoons of, well, it, this is not syrup. This is syrup. It's a Swedish thing. I think it's the same thing as molasses. I'm not sure. Look it up. I don't care. Wait, there's more. How about one tablespoon of rice vinegar? So that's one tablespoon of rice vinegar. One tablespoon of tomato ketchup. That was kind of a surprise. Then you're supposed to add two garlic cloves, but knowing me, knowing you, I'm going to add a few more. And then you whisk. This is quite thick. Oh, it's time to fry the tofu. In a great big pan, you pour one deciliter of some neutral oil. This is canola oil. And when the oil is hot to the touch, no, just kidding. When the oil is hot, you don't touch it. Now you sort of, you put a few of those. You don't want to crowd the pan. And when they're done, you take them up, you scoop them up and you put them on paper. And this paper is on a baking rack so that the oil will, um, yeah, you know, so it's healthier. I just realized that this, you know, pasta spoon is great for this. Here we go, here we go, here we go, yeah. So right now they don't taste much like anything. They're sort of crispy. I guess you could have sort of soaked them. In another recipe, you could have done something. But now we are going to fr we're going to cook them in that lovely sauce. But first, we need to add something to the sauce. So this is about a tablespoon, a little bit more of that cornstarch. That sort of they were. Well, this was I sifted this. So 
you add this to about three, you add a tablespoon of this to three tablespoons of water, then you whisk and then you add it to this, and then you pour it into that. Now you pour this into this, there's no cornstarch lumps in this. <laughs> I don't know why I'm singing La Vie en Rose. Now you add this to the hot pan and it will thicken instantaneously. And now you add the tofu. And lastly, you add two tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds. So I've food prepped and I put some rice on a plate. I'm about to serve this and then I realise, wait, there's something more. I was supposed to buy edamame beans, but I forgot. So instead we're having soy beans. I'm just gonna heat these and then I'll serve. Okay, people, here we go. I think we all know how soybean tastes and how rice tastes. So I'll just have a little go at this. Here we go. It's really crispy. It needs salt. But then I'm sort of, I'm a sucker for salt. So, um, yeah. I love how crispy it is. Because I thought the sauce would make it soggy, but it doesn't. Maybe all that coating prevents it. Okay, this was good and quite easy to make. Ketchup. So, people, Magnus is here somewhere making a, a spicy margarita exec, exactly like we made it last Saturday. I, on the other hand, am making this. No. Uh, Staten Island Ferry, which is two part, three parts pineapple juice and one part coconut rum. So here we go. The mangoes go goes with. Oh, was it green before? Yeah, because of the cucumber. Oh damn it! Yes, I know. Yes, I know. I was totally forgot. Cheers. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. What's the color of mine? Oh, sorry. It's the color of urine. <laughs> up yours or shut up. <laughs> Shut up, up yours. Oh, this was really good. This is sort of, but, but I mean, it's Malibu and pineapple. You can't, you, you know. It's like a candy. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Here's the alcohol. Here's the alcohol. <laughs> So, you told Magnus about something. I told about uh, the Thank island. He's in, he's in ecstasy. Yes. You told him about... A, a, Schulholm slot. He, he Schulholm castle. A Swedish castle that he's... Because Schulholm. And he's in ecstasy now because Magnus is quite... You, you like castles, don't you? Can't even talk to him because he's... You like castles, don't you? I hate them. No. No, no, no. So... We are on our third bottle of wine. Martin told Magnus about this this island in the south south of Sweden called Vien, and Magnus is quite interested. And it, it might be ten o'clock and at eleven and thirty. You can go. Nås krona Vien. Är det någon där? <laughs> this is exciting because yeah. I love when Magnus goes traveling because I then that means I don't have to. Magnus, can you tell the people so somewhat about your interest in the, this island, this sudden interest? Well, it's actually Martin who's made me very interested in this very big island called Vien. And Tycho Brahe is a very, very uh, famous astrologist, astrologer uh, from the maybe 13th century. And he lived there and have an observatory. He was uh, all about the stars and the universe and stuff. So you can go there, take a bike and bike around the whole uh, island for one day and see a lot of things. So I'm going to do it. Good. And you've done it, right? Yeah, I've done it. 
Yeah. Man was just said, I'm signing off, and, and what have we been talking about? Ask yourself that question. So Martin is leaving, but he can't find his hat. So he, he's not leaving until he finds his hat. Yeah, he kept... Are you sure you had a hat? Yes. So I find it. He find it? Here. Good, fantastic. And that's a budget of... Have you been in Brooklyn, New York City? Yeah, I've been there. In Brooklyn? 2009. In Brooklyn? Yes. Oh, what did you do in Brooklyn? I was in New York. I was yeah. going down to Brooklyn. To, to Brooklyn? Yes. Yes. What did you do there? 2009, I see Christina von Duvemola at Carnegie Hall. Yeah, but in Brooklyn? No, I was there for an uh, excursion or uh, a trip. Yeah. Is that a lie? <laughs> no, it's not a lie. <laughs> it's okay. He's got his hat, but now he can't, he can't find his keys. This is interesting. Oh, he found his keys, yeah. So, and your wallet? No, I, I wallet. Yeah, and your phone? <laughs> I have it here. Your phone? Yes. Oh, good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, there he goes. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.